Hariyom and Swagatam everyone. Um, today we have Shripati uh, Shamila ji who will be starting our class with uh, chanting uh, chapter one. So with that, uh, Shamila ji, please unmute and you can start. We are recording this meeting and uh, we are live on YouTube. Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Yam Brahma Varunindra Rudra Marutaha Sunbanti Divesta Vaihi Vedai Sangha Padak Kramo Banishadaihi Gayanti Yam Samaga Dhyana Vasti Tatat Gatena Manasa Pashyanti Yam Yogina Yes Yantam Navidus Sura Sura Ganaha Deva Yetasmina Maha Deva Yetasmina Maha O Nara Yenafaro Yetate and a mauvecta sambabam and a sianta pimi do kaha sub that we pacha me dingi hari hi Sri Krishna ya paramatmani namaha Atha Sri Mad Bhagavad Gita Prathamudhyaya Arjuna Vishada Yoga Dritta Rashtra Bhuvacha Dharma Chetri Kuru Chetri Samaveta Yuyutsavaha Mamaka Pandavachaiva Kimakurvata Sanjaya Sanjaya Bhuvacha Dreshtva Tupandava Nikam Vyodham Suryodhanastada Acharya Mupasangam Raja Vachanam Abravit Pashyaita Pandu Putrana Acharya Mahatim Chamum Vyudha Drupada Putrena Tavasishyena Dhimata Shura Maheshvasa Bhima Juna Sama Yudhi Yudha no Viratascha Drupatascha Maharatha Drishta Kashi Rajas Chaviryavan Purujit Kunti Bhojas Chaipyas 
ಚರಪುಂಗವ ಯುಧಾಮನ್ಯುಶ್ಚ ವಿಕ್ರಾಂತ ಉತ್ತಮೌ ಜಾಶ್ಚ ವೀರ್ಯವಾನ್ ಸೌಭದ್ರೋ ದ್ರೌಪದೇಯಾಶ್ಚ ಮಹಾರಥ ಅಸ್ಮಾಕು ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟ ತಾನಿಬೋಧ ವಿಜೋತ್ತಮ ನಾಯಕ ಮಮ ಸೈನ್ಯ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಬ್ರವೀಮಿ ಭೀಷ್ಮಶ್ಚಕರ್ಣಶ್ಚಪಶ್ಚಮಿಜ ಅಶ್ವತ್ಥಮಕರ್ಣಶ್ಚ ಸೌಮದಸ್ತೂರಾ ಮದರ್ ಜೀವಿತ ನಾಶಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಹರ ಯುಧ ವಿಶಾರದ ಅಪರ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ತದಸ್ಮಕ ಬಲಂ ಭೀಷ್ಮಿ ಪರ್ಯಾಪ್ತಮೇಷಾಂ ಭೀಮಾಕ್ಷಿತು ಚೇಷು ಯಾಗಮವಸ್ಥಿ ಭೀಷ್ಮೇವಕ್ಷು ಸಂಜನಯನ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಕುರು ಪಿತಾಮಹ ಸಿಂಹನಾದ್ಯೋಚೈ ಶಂಖಂ ದೌ ಪ್ರತಾಪವಾನ್ ತತ ಶಂಖಾಶ್ಚೇರ್ಯ ಪಣವಾನಕೂಮುಖ ಸಹಸೈವಾಭ್ಯಹನ್ಯಂತ ಸಶಬ್ದಸ್ತು ಮುಲೋತೆ ತತ್ವೇತೈರ್ಹೈರ್ಯುಕ್ತೆ ಮಹತಿ ಸ್ಯಂದನೆ ಮಾಧವ ಪಾಂಡವಶ್ಚ್ಯೌ ಶಂಖೌ ಪ್ರದತ್ ಮತು ಪಾಂಚತನ್ಯಂ ಋಷಿಕೇಶ ದೇವದತ್ತ ಧನಂಜಯ ಪೌಂಡ್ರಂ ದೌ ಮಹಾಶಂಖ ಭೀಮಕರ್ಮಾಕೋದರ ಅನಂತ ವಿಜಯ ರಾಜ ಕುಂತೀಪುತ್ರೋ ಯುಧಿಷ್ಠಿರ ನಕುಲಸ್ತೇವಶ್ಚ ಸುಘೋಷಮಣಿಪುಷ್ಪಕೌ ಕಾಶ್ಯ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವಾಸ ಶಿಖಂಡೀ ಚ ಮಹಾರಥ ದ್ರಷ್ಟ್ಯುಮ್ನೋ ವಿರಾಟಶ್ಚ ಸಾತ್ಯಕಿಪರಾಜಿತ ದ್ರುಬೋ ದ್ರೌಪದೇಯಶ್ಚ ಸರ್ವಶ ಪೃಥಿವೀಪತೆ ಸೌಭದ್ರಶ್ಚ ಮಹಾಬಾಹು ಶಂಖಾನ್ ದ್ರತ 
ಪ್ರತಕೆ ಸಘೋಷೋ ಧಾರ್ತ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಹೃದಯ ನಿವ್ಯತಾರಯತೆ ನಭಸ್ಚ ಪೃಥಿವೀಂ ಚೈವ ಅನುರುದ್ಯ ಪಾಂಡವ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇರೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಕಾರ್ಯಷು ಸರ್ವದ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರ್ಮಹಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ನಿಧಯ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಷೇವರೋಗಿಣ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವೋಕಾನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಮಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕ ದೇ ಭಗವಂತೋ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿಣೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಅಪಾರ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಜ್ಞಾನದ ಶಾಂತರೂಪಿಣ ಶ್ರೀಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮೃದಾನ್ಮಹಂ ಓಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಎಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಧ್ಯಾನಸ್ಥಿತೇನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಯೋಗಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಂತಸುರಸುರಗಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ಅಥ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ದ್ವಿತೀಯೋಧ್ಯಾಯ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಯೋಗ ಓಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಅಂಡಮ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ವಿ ಮೇ ಲೋಕ ಸಪ್ತದ್ವೀಪ ಮೇದಿನಿ ಓಂ let's all chant shloka number 12 chapter number 2 which we already learned we will do maybe another 10 minutes of one more systematic analysis which will throw a lot of light and different perspective and uh, and after that we will get into the shlokas shlokas will happen and shlokas meaning is available all over the world through various media but nobody understands it properly so better get the fundamentals correct and get the structure correct then all this is very easy and uh, that's why preparation is more important uh, consumption is very easy right uh, all of you will understand right cooking especially indian cooking preparation takes lot of time consumption 10 minutes like that only even spirituality preparation is the longest period and when you are prepared when the guru says tatva masi then the shishya says aham brahma asmi and then as i say in hindi life ban gaya ha uh, hamara life ban jayega okay now shloka number 12 chapter number 2 shri <coughs> bhagavanu vacha natve vaham jatu nasam 
नमे जनाधिपा न भविष्यामः सर्वे वयमत परम वी हैव सीन द डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस श्लोक इन द लास्ट क्लास आई थिंक वी डन पद विभाग अन्वय आई सॉर नो बिकॉज आई रियली डोंट कैच अप व्हाट हैपेंड लास्ट क्लास प्लीज आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स ओके यस डन ललिता मैडम इज वेरी यू नो सिस्टमैटिक करेक्ट नाउ फ्रॉम दिस श्लोक एन इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ आवर रियल नेचर See, there are two ways of studying Bhagavad Gita. One is saying that Bhagavan is saying or explaining the nature of Atma Tattvam, explaining the Atma Tattvam. Another way of understanding is what it is our own true nature. Please don't forget. If you forget this aspect, that Atman, that Bhagavan is explaining in Bhagavad Gita, is our own true nature. You would have missed the bus of Bhagavad Gita. You know, Bhagavad Gita is a bus. You have to board it so that you reach the destination of what is the destination? It's a timeless wisdom for eternal bliss. You board the bus of Bhagavad Gita. Destination is eternal bliss. So, whatever Bhagavan is going to say in the next fifteen shlokas. Ah, moksha, I'm correct. Ramesh, very nice knowledge. Mok, everything is fine. But today, moksha means people have different understanding, right? Ah, uh, Ravi Shankar, Narsimhan. Moksha, na people think that something to be obtained after death. Trivedi ji, ah, marne ke baad kuch paana chahiye. Aisa log samajh rahe hain. Aisa nahi hai. Here and now, and that's why we are representing moksha as eternal bliss here and now. You see, you read in stories, no, lived happily ever after, like that. <laughs> Literally, ever after, here and now, after getting the knowledge. So, everything that we are going to discuss now, the features or the characteristics or what we are going to talk about, Atman, he is about whom? Madhuri Nanda Supermadam, he is about us, each one of us, and it's not exclusive property of one person here, one person there. it is it, it's something that is common to everybody all over the globe it can be i told italian french american it can be anybody and this is called by my parama guru my bhashya parama guru coined the term wonderfully write this down sarvatrika purnanubhava he called it a wonderful term sarvatrika means sarvatra that means for everybody it is universal purna anubhava means what that anubhavam of completeness people say that we are doing so many things in life we are having everything that is going fine for some people things are going fine for some people things may not be going fine but even then there is some vacuum they say even everything going fine some vacuum that is called apurnatvam and this gnanam that bhagwan gives us will make sure we have purnatvam so all the three terms are very important Only great Mahans can coin such terms, and my Paramaguru was really a Mahan, greatest Mahan you can think of. Sarvatrika Purna Anubhavam. Sarvatrika means what? Universal. Purna means what? Completeness. Anubhavam means what? Experience. So it will come into experience, provided you stick to study of Gita Shastra systematically under a traditional teacher. Point one. Now. Now, what is the aspect of Atman that this shloka, shloka number twelve, is saying? Simply put, shloka number twelve, Bhagavan is saying, Atma nitya ha, Anatma anitya ha. You study Gita like this. Gita becomes very simple. What is the equation for every of the shloka for the next fifteen shlokas? There is a one-liner which summarizes the big story or whatever Bhagavan is saying. The summary of Shloka number twelve is Atma Nitya Ha, Anatma Nitya Ha. That's what our notes team has wonderfully put in appendix four, page number twelve of thirteen of the notes. I told you you have to come with the notes. This notes has taken tremendous effort by the team to do. It has gone through multiple sessions. It has gone through previous lectures in detail. From that, team has culled out key points. It has gone through multiple reviews with us, concept notes. and finally essence of every chapter is presented to you in this 10 12 pages and so 
if you cannot pay attention to these 12 pages for a particular chapter even god cannot save you let me tell you so please go through these notes be diligent if you have to get knowledge you have to put the effort no gain without pain okay so now what why are we talking about these aspects of atman bhagavan is talking about these aspects of atman because it is not very obvious from the analysis and to so called no man so called what we use in business terminology we say analysis paralysis correct anybody in business will know this right <laughs> too much of analysis they say becomes paralysis but in vedanta vichara any amount of analysis is not paralysis it will remove paralysis if you will got paralysis it will come out of paralysis if you analyze the atman so it's a very systematic approach to understanding the atman that bhagavan is giving and seemingly you will not see that systematic approach it will take effort and no some some amount of knowledge to go and discover the structure and so we have taken what bhagavan is saying in the next few slokas and coined a term called 10 commandments of atma anatma swarupam and those 10 is what you are seeing between page 12 and page 13 of appendix 4 of your notes for sankhya yoga all of you have got it or not can at least five people say you got it and please don't keep everything to computer please spend some no in india 500 rupees or 2 dollars in us go or have a printer at home print it i keep saying if you keep it in computer computer will become brahmagnani you will not become brahmagnani you print it keep it in front of you make notes make corrections and write words and sentences which are making you understand and this is all about understanding and each one has got a particular way of trying to understand and your own method whatever keyword you want to put whatever thoughts that come to you you write down there and they will provoke an inspiration that will culminate in knowledge how it will appear how it will how that realization will come nobody can say but you have to be at it and at it very very seriously and systematically then there's no way you cannot get atmajnana okay now so the first characteristic is what is what you're saying is atma nitya ha now if there are any post doctorate students of vedanta for them i am going to say some things and other people can start understanding as i am saying this and you will be able to appreciate maybe after a decade of vedantic studies the atman or brahman has no qualities please write down all these 1 2 3 4 the atman or brahman has no qualities it is quality less and how are you saying quality less because the upanishad mantra says अशब्दमस्पर्शम व्यय तथारसम निगंधवज्जयत अनाद्यन महत परंध्रुव निचा तुमुखा प्रमुच्यते विच उपनिषद दिस ईज मुंडक उपनिषद हमडी कैन गो ऑन फेच द रेफरेंस नंबर एंड आई can somebody cut and paste the meeting note i keep saying this every time this is only for you i am putting this can somebody put the meeting note in the chat box so that you bring your attention to what i am saying because everything that is being told has got a lot of sense nothing is put there without any thought in that i have mentioned something about upanishad studies yes or no let me see whether anyone has put the uh, in chat box ah very good who has put it ah Seetu Raman sir, huh? fastest finger first. Uh, Sarita Pillai, very good. I hope you are all reading that one before coming to the class. Are you having a look at it, all of you? Please read it. It takes three minutes to glance through it, so that you get a context of what we are saying. And this is, this is a very serious and very involved and very deep subject. And if you don't get it now, we'll move forward to other topics in Bhagavad Gita. This is only place Bhagavan is going to focus exclusively on Atma Tattvam, and like. Uh, arjuna we also will not understand but we should try to understand if arjuna understood atma tattvam end of second this second chapter by 38th shloka then om tat sat pack and move right so 
it is difficult to understand so we have to move step by step so the first point i was saying was atman or brahman has no characteristics or features then why are we saying atma nitya atma nirvikaraha atma satya all those things we are saying na in the last appendix can you see i put the english term sanskrit term what is the meaning what is anatma matter principle what what is shloka principle this kind of systematic analysis actually it's uh, worth its you know weight in gold you will not get it anywhere hopefully you are able to make use of things something what happens things given free has no value uh, so we have to put some charge but we are not doing that right now anyway coming to the point atma by itself or brahman by itself has no features but there is a method of explaining the atma atma also or brahman also is what beyond words and mind you are uh, you are aware i mean aware of this particular you know, concept right atma is beyond word and mind yato vacho nivartante apraapya manasa sah आनंदम ब्रह्मणो विद्वान न विभेति कदाच नेति सी द रीजन आई एम कोटिंग उपनिषद मंत्रास इज बिकॉज़ द वेरी फैक्ट आई मेंशनड इन द मीटिंग नोट दैट सॉलिड ग्राउंडिंग उपनिषद शास्त्र इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अप्रिशिएट व्हाट भगवान इज सेइंग दैट्स द रीजन वी आर डूइंग उपनिषद क्लास आल्सो साइमल्टेनियसली हां ऑन संडे इवनिंग एट 4:00 इंडिया टाइम इफ पीपल कैन पार्टिसिपेट यू विल लर्न we are in bhruguvalli it also talks about the experiential aspect of atma tattvam so by a method of what is called as write down this what is called as adhyaropa apavada write down that is another methodology i told four methods to you know atman right you forgot that do you remember what are the four methods the four methods don't forget put it in the chat box i will not repeat the underlying methodology that is superseding or overarching of all the methodologies is what is called as adhyaropa apavada and acharya shankara says in some other place adhyaropa apavada abhyam nishprapancham prapanchate all very complex this is a post doctorate in vedanta but anyway i'm giving you the jhalak you understand what is vedanta by soup is the, this adhyaropam means superimposition write down adhyaropam means superimposition apavadam means negation so by superimposing certain qualities on the atman which is not available in the anatma tattvam everybody is very important we superimpose because why by default atman brahman doesn't have any qualities this under this something we should know very clearly if it had any qualities then even atman will get into ragadvesham <laughs> understand so atman has no it is pure in every sense please understand it is pure niranjanam nishkriyam niravadyam niranjanam beautiful mantras are there which explain the crystal clear christian pure nature of the pure consciousness of atman so nothing can be attached to the atman no quality can be attached to atman because it's beyond all qualities beyond words because any quality also will fall in the in the fiefdom or range of words and mind and thought so what is the method of teaching the atman or brahman which is beyond the word please understand the greatest exercise that vedanta and the vedantic teachers take is to explain that which cannot be expressed in words very very difficult the most difficult task of vedanta teacher is to teach people that aspect or that tattvam which is beyond words because the communication medium is words through word we have to explain that which is unexplainable so the methodology called adhyaropa apavada and what is adhyaropa apavada you superimpose certain qualities on the atman which by default is available not that it is not available in atman it is available in atman is the nature of atman it's called swarupa lakshanam of atman so that you say that what is this nature of atman is not available in anatma and that is the way to separate the atma and anatma 
I'll give an example. Okay. Now, this pen is blue. This is pencil is black. Correct? By saying that this pen is blue, a quality, I am able to say this is not the pencil which is black. Are you understanding what I am saying? That means what the quality available here is not available here. The color. Color is a quality. Are you getting the point? One way is to say the pencil is black. Another way is to say the pen is blue and hence it is not a pencil. You can say one is the pencil is black, correct? Are you getting the point? Another way is to say the pen is blue and because it is blue and the pencil is seemingly black, pen is not pencil. Are you getting the point? Similarly, we superimpose the quality on the Atman which is not available in Anatma. Are you getting the point? The color of blue is not available in the pencil. Are you following what I am saying? I hope you are getting what I am saying. There is a quality in the pen which is not available in the pencil. And you can go and search any... When I am going to say, you will understand. Any Anathama Tattam, you go and search for that quality. It will not be available. So, by this process, I negate or I am able to separate that this is anatma, this is atma. Anatma means not atma, it's called anatma in Sanskrit. Matter principle is called anatma. Consciousness principle is called atma here in this context. Are you all clear or not? Are you clear? Yes or no? Okay, Dr. Rangarajan is very clear, I'm happy. Okay. So, what we are going to do in the next 15 shlokas. Through Bhagavan's explanation is, we are going to superimpose qualities of the Atman on itself and then understand that those entities which don't have these qualities by nature will not be Atman. Are you getting the point? That way, you will be able to negate everything in the world that is discernible to our sense organs and mind as anatma. And finally land, Sundar, correct. Finally land in the atman which is pure and bereft of any qualities or name or form or shape or sound or anything. Beautiful mantra. Ram Ram Subhu, Brother and Nick of Punishet. Yagam will sold rather. Taha Yeshaha, Atma, Adeshaha, Nati Nati, Naiti Naiti. This is not Atman, this is not Atman because Achar Shankara says in Shankara Hashim in the fourth sutra, Tatu Saman Vayat, this Atman is not something can be taken like this and this is Atman. Like your, you know, your box or your, your you know, tennis ball or your mobile, you cannot say this is Atman. You cannot say that. And so, please understand, this is the only method of trying to make you understand Atman. And so, Bhagavan is also using the same Adhyaropa Apavada. Write down this very important word. You will not read it in many places. Adhyaropa Apavada. So, after superimposing the quality, once you understand that Atman is beyond any quality, that superimposition is no longer required. So you remove the superimposition. So the process of superimposition and retraction or negation is called Adhyaropa and Apavada. Ravi Ravichandran, very good. I'm happy you're all following my sense. You'll have to really know, take it up seriously and ask follow-up questions later if you don't understand. Okay. So is this at least vaguely clear? <laughs> Who opposite terms are using? Is it at least some kind of glimpse or a getting the method of understanding Atman? It is not very easy. That's why Acharya Shankara has written at least 50 different texts just trying to explain Atma. Okay. So Bhagavan is using this method. Point one. So far, you are clear? What are the key points? Atma is unexplainable. Atma doesn't have qualities. Atma has to be understood. Why? That which doesn't have qualities, that which cannot be known by the mind, that which cannot be explained by words. Why should I know it? 
we can do our better things in life right go go for a picnic go to florida go somewhere and enjoy tv why should i do it why are bhai it is my true nature very good you know so one guy this is my without understanding yourself what are you going to do understand the entire world inna there is a famous old song inna tamil song unnai arindal nee unnai arindal ulagathil poraadalam uyirndalum taandalum thalai vanangamal nee vaalalam kelringala your friend tamil and i'll quote sir this one you all keep the vedanta class interesting vedanta looks very dry but for me vedanta is very very interesting i make a lot of as your guru ji taught us lovingly purinjada that means what you understand your true nature you can face the world and actually the very tattva paadam adu nalla paadal adu got lot of depth in that particular song understand so once you understand who you are nothing in the world can shake you nobody can mesmerize you you will not get misled by that fellow or this fellow somebody with one ring in the one year some hair like this some particular what you will never get distracted if you have atma gyanam deep rooted in you and you don't need any role model krishna paramatma will be your only role model that means as atma tatvam not once again the clue to krishna or the dancing krishna atma will be your only guide and that is what you will now always set down your mind so knowing the atman correctly is extremely important and after that what happens yavaharam everything is only transaction in the world and just like a game when you go and play a game in the field you got to go and enjoy it right life becomes nothing but a game let me tell you win or lose you leave it in the field and come back happy right similarly life will just be a game and that is why you will be ever happy eternally happy whatever happens in life nothing can affect you and unless you understand this properly all the sort of gita vedanta will never be useful or applicable now one small point before i jump into the next shloka today is sankashta hara chaturthi na parallel we all to have to have the vedam vedangam parallel irukano because dharmatha udada varano without no compromise on dharma na ram naam sudo correct and by grace of ganesha we are going to say a few things now which is a structured approach to this knowledge and what is this i told bhagwan gives this knowledge at three levels correct anybody remembers this is called as upadesha trayam write down this is on there the notes okay upadesha trayam and what was the upadesha trayam bhagwan first started with atma gnana upadesham that is called atma anatma viveka which we are reading from shloka number 211 to up to 225 and 230 within that all this is there atma anatma viveka is summarized as what brahmo padesham or atma padesham bhagavan first let us philosophy write down philosophy that doesn't go into arjuna's head like it doesn't go into our head so bhagavan then explains dharma shastram and what is the goal of bhagavan chetan sharma what is bhagavan's goal bhagwan goal is to make arjuna fight i also told no in the, in the same chat i told in the, in the, in the message bhagwan's goal is to make arjuna fight so one methodology he uses is what atma upadesham atma tattva upadesham ina sri sha kala babu meena ela put the switch on the camera ramesh venkatesh nodi okay so that is philosophy second level is called dharma shastram so since he didn't understand atma gyanam bhagwan told by dharma at least following dharma you have to fight okay that is called second level called dharma shastram then the last level third level bhagwan that's the upadesham or advice is called laukika gnayam laukika upadesham samanya gnanam that means what common sense approach ram sutra mein common sense is the most uncommon thing in the world correct na you will be very surprised a ah, common sense ah. people should know no it is the most uncommon thing so bhagwan even gives common sense advice to arjuna and you will be very surprised right even then arjuna doesn't get up and fight that shows even how common sense is most uncommon so three levels it's called upadesha trayam now write down upadesha trayam so bhagwan starts with highest level called atma gyanam then dharma shastra gyanam 
then vyavaharika gnanam and he tries to move arjuna from a state of you no know, inaction sitting to get up and fight failure now what is the message for all of us who are all involved in the world now you go the reverse order samanya gnanam common sense dharma shastram and then atma gnanam and i keep saying i also told in the message that is atma gnanam is the highest knowledge one can get in this life correct yes or no have you seen the message or not that's why i say everything we say please read please digest please imbibe please integrate nothing that is told even a word is not told just like that i mentioned atma gnanam the highest knowledge which will culminate in eternal happiness correct or not yes or no right sit on cameras vandana everybody pay attention one hour a week no even this you cannot do how will get atma gnanam i don't know hmm? fine anyway now why do people not go and spend time and get this atma gnanam <laughs> if i say there is this very valuable asset of no 100 million dollars worth of ornaments in this place it is available free of cost for everybody what will you do k guru swami or ravi putrajan what you will do if i make an announcement in this place it is available free for everybody okay you all can go and take it it is worth billions of dollars what will you do what will you do ha ah, arvind is correct please follow the lessons i don't want you to you know say some things follow the lessons you will run correct ravi you will run to that place rush like even one small ad saying one buy one take one free is a big queue correct like that if something is given free you will run but even if we give this knowledge free of cost for now many centuries people don't come and learn why is it not a puzzle with which correct so this upadesha trayam should be connected to our sharira trayam now i'm going to give you a set of triads see we are very good at making triads out of everything you know the first triad we coined do you are bhai you please follow lessons on ram subramanian please please follow the lessons okay so i talked about the triad of shastram guru and bhagwan ah that is order shastram guru bhagwan was the first triad we learned in dhyana shloka now there is a triad of things that will make you aware why people are not focusing on atma gyanam ruthve is all systematic study so upadesha trayam what is upadesha trayam can you now at least repeat what i am saying now upadesha trayam is what atma gyanam dharma shastra gyanam vyavaharik gyanam and i said people don't go to atma gyanam why because people don't know or even if they know they are not aware that each of us are actually sharira trayam you got three bodies please make a note of it very important constantly is the mananam you should have the mananam in your mind what are the three bodies we bring with ourselves we all know that what externally you are seeing is called sthula shariram the physical body the second one which is internal to that is called the sukshma shariram or a subtle body which travels after this body perishes we even don't know something travels after we die and the karana shariram is the fundamental bedrock of all our continuous birth and death which is there always permanently embedded like a magnetic effect on our entire existence and all it permeates both sukshma shariram and the sthula shariram so what is happening in the world today people have lost sight of the fact that i have got a sukshma shariram i have got a karana shariram i told in the class please go and listen to my class where it talked about prapanna parijata ya totra bhetre kapane gnana mudra ya krishna ya geeta amrita duhe namaha remember or not i told this flow individual is associated with sharira trayam stula sukshma karana shariram and happily living it takes lot of effort for this solo daham to come and move towards brahma tattvam remove the connection with three shariras and get atma gyanam brahma gyanam i hope you all remember remember or not ha ah, gyana mudra remember very good lalita ji ha ah. so we are very happily i'm telling you in spite of studying geeta upanishads our advice from elders and mahans and bhagwan and everybody we are happily tied to sthula shariram only not even sukshma shariram 95% of the world is only stola shariram so what happens entire life is spent managing stola shariram 
it means what the entire objective world that is seeing right from objective knowledge to objectively what is happening in the entire world of business or whatever you are buying and selling right from equipment you buy for example gym equipment or your own cardio or your whatever no that or right from your footwear equipment to dress to ornaments to every you know whatever your um, cosmetic everything is bothered only about the stool shariram please understand and so people are bothered about setting right stool shariram giving little thought to the key thing of stool shariram sukshma shariram which is inside and controlling stool shariram entire life is spent on only stool shariram even the money that we earn by going to work is for comfort of the body please understand think for a minute i'm not saying you should not do it you should do it but step back at some point in time start thinking it is journey internally so we spend time on sula shariram don't focus on sukshma shariram very rarely people focus on sukshma shariram so the body needs certain things we are busy busy body satisfying the food requirement health requirement which is very important shariram madhyam khalu dharma sadhanam do that but also people have to focus on sukshma shariram and sukshma shariram is nothing but you are antakaranam plus pancha pranaha plus purva prajna plus punya papam plus all those things that you need to focus on because in spite of any achievement you have in the world it is of no use when you leave this world because the sukshma shariram takes over as the reason for your next birth and manifestation so people are focused on sukshma shariram at least will focus on dharma shastram all your puja japa dhyana parayana everything bhajana nama sankirtana whatever tirtha yatra what all you do is for the mind the sukshma shariram and that is the method only method to set right your sukshma shariram and bring it to the right path so very few people focus on that that to systematically correctly the traditional way there are also non traditional ways to manage the mind traditional ways people adopt only what punya karma and then people are matured enough to come to manage the sukshma shariram in sharira trayam very 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 rarely people think about the karana shariram which is agnyanam or avidya this ignorance about the true nature of self and so people don't even know that they got a karana shariram the cause the ultimate cause of all our births again and again unless you are very very serious about the fact that that is the root cause for all my miseries as acharya says eva maya manadi anantaha nai sarjiko adhyasaha unless you understand that you will not take the vedantic study seriously and try to erase this avidya which is the mula karanam or the karana shariram unless you erase this karana shariram you can never get out of the cycle of birth and death samsara chakram please understand very clearly here and now and so bhagavan is starting with an ultimate knowledge to erase this karana shariram which is called agnyanam and avidya and that is the exercise bhagavan is taking over the next 15 shlokas are you getting the point and it requires uttama adhikari a, a, a student who is really you know evolved to study this directly so bhagavan thought arjuna was uttama adhikari who is start he started with the philosophical advice of atma gyanam and unfortunately bhagavan unfortunately even though bhagavan said arjuna didn't get it should we say fortunately and unfortunately shrisha madam this is a fortunately right that's why we got the whole geeta of 700 shlokas right so now fortunately you understand so please understand upadesha trayam is connected to sharira trayam if you are bothered about only stula shariram you will focus on what na health all you should focus on that only physical exercises no cardio running jogging yoga yoga asana all that you will do if you are focused also on setting right you are to sukshma shariram dharmam shastram no puja japa dhyana homa all those things that are made to get your mind in order you focus if you are really serious and say no 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 i really have to get to the root cause na ramesh venkateshan six sigma la innu iruka ji illa six sigma root cause important illa the the root cause if you want to erase that is karana shariram you will come to atma gyanam vedanta shastram and you are all very lucky 
ఐ షుడ్ సే యు హన్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ పుణ్యం ముక్తిర్నో శతజన్మ కోటి సుకృతై పుణ్యేర్ విన లభ్యతే అన్లెస్ యు గాట్ పుణ్య యు నాట్ కమ్ టు వేదాంత క్లాస్ సో యు డోంట్ నీట్ వరీ వై మెనీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ నాట్ కమింగ్ హియర్ ఇఫ్ దే డోంట్ కమ్ లెట్ దెమ్ గో యూ అటెండ్ సిస్టమాటికలీ త్రూ ద గురు డైరెక్ట్లీ సిస్టమాటికలీ ట్రెడిషనలీ లర్న్ దిస్ జ్ఞానం అండ్ బికమ్ ఫ్రీ that is the biggest benefit you can do to yourself and the world so that is sharira trayam in the later classes what i will do is i have made a very systematic chart i am very good at the beginning structure to vedanta which i have learned no over the last three decades i will present a chart which has got multiple trayams i want to start a shlokas now so i will stop at this point please make a note of these trayams one is called sharira trayam second what i called was what start with upadesha trayam no 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 write on these terms upadesha trayam sharira trayam and you will be very surprised they apply to the guna trayam the three gunas sattva gunam rajo gunam tamo gunam and they connect to sadhana trayam three sadhanas are mentioned i will tell all i have given detail explanation as, as we go forward 1 2 3 i'll say each one in each class because one class will take everything will be too much and then what is that we are doing as our laudik of vyavahara trayam so so many trayams are there trayam means what what is trayam triads and all are interrelated i'll put a wonderful chart and explain to you in next class i will make the chart and give to our ram raman or our coordinators they can present it and explain to you and you'll get a very good perspective of why we are doing what we are doing why we are not focusing on higher reality and then that will set set in you a thought process that yes i have to arise and awake to that reality as kathopanishad mantra says uttishthata jagrata vapyavaran nibodhata arise awake all men get up and go and seek a wise and traditional teacher to understand satma gyanam because this is not an easy path shurasya dhara nishita duratyaya durgam patastat kavayo vadanti so this is a famous statement we can make everywhere in the world arise and awake so unless you arise and awake that i need to get rid of this avidya the karana shariram you will never ever take to vedantic study seriously and as i keep saying if you miss the bus in this life bus miss miss now continuing come please have the performer today avastha uh, trayam is not connected to this we'll talk about it later uh, good point but i'll bring it later that is i just the trayam is there but how it is connected we will have to see that's not directly connected okay now coming to the point uh, we will now start shloka number 13 i will chant now and uh, our shamala madam will repeat after me shri bhagavan uvacha dehi nosmin yatha dehe kaumaram yauvanam jara tatha dehantara prapti dhiras tatra namuhyati భగవానువాచ దేహినోస్మిన్యేహేమారం యౌవనం జరా తేహాంతర ప్రాప్తి ధీరస్తత్ర నమోష్యతి వెరీ గుడ్ టుగెదర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీ భగవానువాచ దేహి నోస్మిన్యేహే కౌమారం యౌవనం జరా తథా దేహాంతర ప్రాప్తి ధీరస్తత్ర నముహ్యతి నౌ ఫాలో దట్ లెసన్స్ ప్లీజ్ టేక్ యువర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ దట్ నోట్స్ యూ ఆర్ గివెన్ గో టు అపెండిక్స్ ఫోర్ పేజ్ నెంబర్ ట్వెల్వ్ అండ్ ఫోర్ గో టు లైన్ నెంబర్ వన్ పాయింట్ నెంబర్ వన్ ద వే ద టేబుల్ హెస్ బిన్ అరేంజ్ డేస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద నేచర్ ఆఫ్ ప్యూర్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ ద ఫస్ట్ కాలమ్ సేస్ దట్ i am trying to explain to you what has been told there okay but that what is the disclaimer in reality the atma tattvam has no quality so you have to write a notes there it was superimposed qualities dhanam madam clear ah christian pure vedanta tattvam prakaram you have to be very clear na these are all superimposed qualities are you understanding what i am saying or difficult madhuri narayan and why are superimposing qualities to show that these are not available in atma and and then what you can do if this is not available in anatma you reject that to say this is not atma neeti neeti naiti naiti are you getting the point clear no 
Huh? Now, what does that say? The first quality which we described in Sloka number 212, two, which is also mentioned, Sloka reference in the end, and also it will come in 214 again, is that Atma Nityaha, Anatma Nityaha. What does it mean in English? The Atma Tattvam is eternal. Atma Tattvam eternal means what? If you answer quickly, I'll go fast. If you say Atma Tattvam is eternal, what does it mean? I am eternal. <laughs> I am immortal. Follow the lesson that I am saying. I told you replace Atma with I. That is the real meaning of Atma. I am not perishable. I, no, not perishable. You please follow the lesson. Say wait, it is not perishable. It comes somewhere else. See, that's the reason I don't want it to words mean anything. Follow every word the way it is being put. I am eternal. You have to follow the meaning the way it is. Please. I am eternal. And I am eternal means what? Sir, I also don't exist after 100 years from now, sir. What is it that becomes non-eternal? Anityaha. My body is Anityaha. Please understand. I have owned up to this body and I am thinking I am present for some time and absent afterwards. But by nature, I am eternal. That is what you should supply here. And Atma meaning is not eternal. Guru Nala, so nicely nobody is going to put a table. I hope you are able to get benefit. Are you benefiting? Jaya, are you getting or not? So, the first two columns are dedicated to your true nature. The second two columns are dedicated to a small eye, like somebody put. The big eye is the first two columns. And the third and fourth column is your small eye. And the fifth column is Sloka reference. Where will you give get this kind of systematic Gita study? You tell me. Okay, anyway, that was shloka number 12. Now, shloka number 13, what we are discussing now, the key point we are going to discover is Atma Nirvikaraha. Atma Nirvikaraha means Atma is a changeless entity. Now, you see, nobody needs to make notes. Notes are available in front of you, provided you can print it and keep it in front of you. Okay. How nice, easily you can study, you see, no need, no need to focus on writing. Just grasp the knowledge, the way it's coming. Here, properly. Shunmantu Vishwe Amatasya Putraha. Learn properly here. So, Atma is a changeless entity. That means what I told you, you know, when you say the Atma is changeless, you superimpose the nature or quality of changeless and Atma. And then go and see everything in the world that you can understand or see or hear or smell or touch or taste or whatever it is. Can you find any entity in the world which is subject to the five sense organs and mind and intellect, which is changeless? Question to you, common sense. Can you find any entity which is changeless? Matter by nature will change. Correct? Will decay, will go... It called Shadbhava Vikaraha. Write down Sanskrit term. Shadbhava. Six types of changes happen. Next class I'll tell you in detail. Six changes happen to every matter entity. And Atma Tattvam is Shadbhava Vikara Rahitaha. It, has, no, it is not subject to any change. And that's how you separate. So when I see the body, can I call it Atma now? If you are fully convinced that Atma Nityaha, Atma Nirvikaraha, you will say very clearly, whatever is happening to this body, this mind, this intellect, all sense of everything in the world, entire world, Nama Rupa, name and form, world, entire world can be negated just like that, we say. You know Vedanta? Then a second you can withdraw from the world. And only knowledge can make you withdraw from the world. And what should I withdraw from the world? Peace of mind. You should act in the world, but be withdrawn. There are a lot of complex topics we learn. So, the sloka number 13 is telling, write down, Atma Nirvikaraha and Anatma is Savikaraha. When Sakara comes together with, Vikaraha means change. So, the entire Nama Rupa Prapancha, the world of names and forms, the matter principle is always changing. Only changeless entity is Atman or Brahman. So we say, Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya Jeevo Brahmaiva Naparaha 
Brahmaiva Satyam we say. Understood so far? Satyam means what? That which doesn't change in three states of existence. Past, present and future. You got the concept now? See, there is a way to study Gita. Take a shloka. This next 15 shloka is very important. You take the shloka, understand the principle or the quality or the nature that is being explained. Then find out how it is being represented in a shloka by Bhagavan with the overall meaning. Then go to Padavivaga, Anvaya and finally you know, reiterate what we understood as overall meaning is correct or not. Get more depth knowledge and then we will have other you know, supporting arguments and statements from different scriptures. And that will make the study of one shloka complete. Each and every shloka, Acharya's Bhashya starts with 211. That is where great knowledge of Acharya's you will discover. I am not going through all the Bhashya. I will give you key points. You don't have time to study the entire thing in all detail. Key points I will give you. Please make notes. Clear? Now, what does this shloka say? Dehi no sminetha dehi. What is the meaning? Okay. <clears throat> Here, Bhagavan is referring to the Atma as the Jeeva Atma Tattvam. Write down. Even in this 15 shlokas, Bhagavan is going to interchange between Jeeva Atma and the Shuddha Chaitanyam. Are you understand what I am saying? Are you getting the point? No. Ravi Shankar, Guru Arupan sir, you are understanding, no? So here Bhagavan is saying, just as the Atma, here you supply Jeevatma which is within the body. How am I saying that it is within the body? Quick answer. You should follow the lessons. How am I saying that it is within the body? It travels after this body goes away. Are you getting the point? Devaith. Sukshma Shariram. Write down. Sukshma plus Karana Shariram is what Bhagavan is referring to when he says this Atma that is there. Atma means, I'll tell you, okay, let's go one level higher. Atma means I. Write down this. Nakaranta pullinga atman shabdaha atma atmano atmanaha. When you, you attach yourself to the body, in that context, Atma becomes a body. In many places in Gita, Atma will be referred to as body. When you refer yourself to your mind, then Atma will be called as mind. In Gita and Vedanta, when you connect yourself, your nature or your eye to your small eye to your intellect, Atma will be intellect. When you connect to your mind, which is what declared then that Atma will be connected to Karana Shariram, which is Adhyasam Avidya. When you finally remove all this Sharira Trayam and connect yourself to Shuddha Chaitanyam, then Atma is called pure consciousness of Brahman. Are you getting clearly now? Understood? So, contextually, the term Atma will have different meanings. So, here the Atma means what? Jeevatma Tattvam, which is nothing but Sukshma Shariram plus Karana Shariram, which survives the extinction of this body. When the body perishes either naturally or unnaturally, what is Bhagavan trying to say? Are why this body is going to go one day, whether it goes naturally or by an accident or in a war or in anything, there is something that survives the body. Are you getting the point here? Are you all shocked? Are you all shocked? In fact, you should be very surprised more than shocked. There is an Upanishad called Katho Upanishad. A 8, 9, 10 year old boy called Nachiketas goes to Yamadharma Raja and asks this question. You know, very interesting. Guru Arvind, he says, he tells, he asks the question to Yama and says, Asti teke nayam asti te chayke. What is it? Mantra there. Hey, Yamadharma Raja, you know everything. You are the person who physically knows what happens after death. And also philosophically, you know what happens after death. Yama knows right after death what happens. Yes or no? Adhan remembers Tharasya. Katopan is the owner, the author of you know, Katopan is the teacher. Uh, Katopan also physically knows. He is the person who pulls your prana away. Correct? Yamasya Karuna Nasti. So, right teacher in the Pona, Kutibaya, Kutiboy, goes to Yama and asks him, after death of the individual, is there something existing or not? Amakala, the question, Uruma. Amakala, the question, Uruma. When we are existing, how many dollars can I make? How can I multiply? How can I enjoy my sense organs? That's what we get. 
that boy has got such a brilliant mind and so much of dharma shastram is there in his mind and right mind and engage he goes and asks whom yamasarva raja can somebody put the mantra reference here lux or somebody asti teke nayam asti teke 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 is there anything that survives the death of the body and from there he goes on pressing yamadharma to tell me that truth tell me that principle that is beyond everything anyatra dharma anyatra dharma anyatra asmat krita krita what a beautiful mantra that comes there in katopan so what is surviving beyond the body so bhagwan is pointing to that principle that survives the physical destruction of the body that sukshma karana shariram which is in the body seemingly undergoes change externally through various spaces please understand there is something called as inside an entity which is a root cause for you to say yourself aham aham i i i i saying internally correct the seeming external body undergoes changes of boyhood youth old age so on and so forth and after this body perishes it goes and attains another body but please understand what is external undergoes change but the internal entity which survives the extinction and changing nature of the body is changeless are you getting there is a changeless entity within us even now you can recognize which is not connected with the changing environment very good example we give vedanta all of you have got habit of you know getting albums photo albums nowadays all is digital before there is a book full of albums correct there are a book of albums and then many people are very fond of putting album from the age of 1 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 year 5 year 10 year Then twenty-five. I'm keeping. So now, when time I end up, I'm thirty, thirty-five, forty, fifty, seventy, eighty. Then at eighty years, my grandpa will call grandchild. Say, he'll show one uh, one photo, one group photo in the school, second standard school. In this group photo, please recognize grandfather. They'll say, correct, ah. Eh? And when the child says, "You are looks like you are that," ha, huh, yes, I am that. The grandfather will say, "I am that." That I. has matured and gone to 80 years but the eye is associating once again with the 8 or 10 year old is yes or no the eye that i had when i was 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 year 80 years is unchanging can you say that kid of 1 year is even the 80 year old tata can you say can you say in between also you get married you see i got married man huh? this is your party or not all those days how energetic i was now i am not i am, now i am not energetic i was energetic i had lot of fun now i am not able to travel so that i i i from one year two year three year four year 10 year 15 years that i does it change or is it uh, it is changing or is it changeless that i doesn't change and i there are associating with your sukshma shariram knowingly or unknowingly and even after you pass away somebody will say this was this person yes or no person no longer exists but the nature the quality of the person continues to remain is part of sukh shariram so please understand here and now there is something that is within you which is changeless bhagwan is pointing to that which can survive death so bhagwan is saying hey arjuna when you shoot bhishma drona all with arrows and they seemingly die there is something that is part and parcel of their existence of their nature will survive after death so don't worry they will survive look at the advice the advice seemingly is very elementary but the tatva gnanam that bhagwan is pointing to is there is something beyond your body when are we going to arise and awake to that particular thought unless you are every day constantly mananam that i am beyond the physical body i need to something for my sukh shariram for my karana shariram to be raised you will not be able to focus on studies of vedanta so bhagwan is saying so whatever happens to the external body which goes through different changes is called sabikaraha and including the fact that it will go and attain another body only some people recognize 
they are called wise people the wise people wise is very difficult in english la v i c u wise w i s e u wise parunga english romba kashtam very difficult explain vedanta through english are you getting my point can somebody write and which wise i am referring to here habadi i am still struggling to understand why they call people wise principal principal or post kuduthirukanga yen wise principal wise chancellor kudukranga therla and the word vera kadikala english la valunga i don't know whether you are are bhai you are nobody asking any question all we are running running not getting back why should you wise wise chancellor person w a c channel podanala irukku idu wise person right anyway that is separate topic so here bhagavan is saying the wise man the knowledgeable man the buddhiman person who got the pandita will not get disturbed over all the happening which are surrounding this atman seemingly like a cover please understand it is like a cover suppose i am wearing a shawl right something happens this stairs away what will she be like right somebody may cry that's a problem but will anybody really be bothered hmm similarly the body is like a car you understand just like a car takes you from one place to another the body takes your physical you know your your existence with your mind and intellect another place to see grasp talk speak interact that is all the body is worth please understand fit or not it will go to different places otherwise it will be in one place got the point as i keep saying when you go for a meeting from here to say some other place on 10 miles 20 miles away once you take a car and drive and you park the car in the parking lot go to the meeting car has no value correct similarly the body's value is to take you from one place to another in terms of your physical movement but your real nature is something behind it and that is sukshma shariram governed by karana shariram and so if something happens in the car what you will do you will start crying weeping are vai car ho gaya my life my life is gone will you say that if car be such an accident or dent what do you do car ko tick karo chalo workshop make it right similarly anything happens to this body this mind sense organs our thoughts somebody said this somebody did that somebody didn't do that somebody should have done this that person told like this i will take it on him all these are all thoughts and thoughts are matter principles surrounding the atman surrounding jeevatma so once you get to gnanam identify yourself to the sukshma shariram karana shariram beyond that atma tattvam you will not pay much importance to what is happening to the matter principle so neither anything happening to the body or to the mind or to sense organs or intellect or thought process or worries or sorrow or even happiness anything will not affect you provided you know you are the pure atman i told you, you know this atma is who is atma i am that atma so this is the meaning of this shloka i will give padam vahan and i think that is the time we we'll have for today ஜஸ்ட் Ribeji, just like because only by example you can teach Atma Tattva. So, Bhagwan beautiful like this, taking the body itself and explaining Atma Tattva. Just like Dehina Ha, Dehi means Dehe Tishthati. What is inside the body is called Dehi. Purnji Gango, Shariram Shariram, Deham Dehi, Dehina Ha. That means what? That which is within the body. What is in the body? ஜீவாத்ம தத்துவம் ரைட் டவுன் ஹியர் ஜீவாத்ம தத்துவம் இஸ் சூக்ம சரீரம் பிளஸ் காரண சரீரம் ஜீவாத்ம தத்துவம் அஸ்மின் தேஹே விச் இஸ் இன் திஸ் பாடி அஸ்மின் தேஹே விச் இஸ் இன் திஸ் பாடி வாட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் நவ் தேர் ஈஸ் ஜீவாத்ம தத்துவம் விச் இஸ் இன்சைட் த பாடி which is seemingly connected with the external body which undergoes changes are you getting the concept seemingly connected but actually not connected if it is definitely connected then the eye of the one year will not be the eye of 80 year 80 year old fellow says i am that i as one year i am that i as 80 year and let me ask you this i does i undergo any uh, age that i of one year 
will say that that i there is different from this i here that i was a very strong guy this is a weak guy soluma answer please answer my question the i that was there when i was 2 years 3 years 4 years the same i that is there every day morning when you get up aham aham idam that comes to your mind is not changing at all so that is going to be constant so bhagwan is saying just as the jeevatma that is there within the body which is in this body goes through various changes externally seemingly because what is happening internally you don't know so bhagwan is saying no that that is not going to undergo any change you are seeing outside only things are changing what is all changing you go through various stages like kauma ram kauma ram na anna boyhood youth kedaya kauma ram na boyhood kumara adukku da unde kumaran murugannukku per kumaran na baayave irundutan kumaran na so kauma ram so kumari enna solranga illaya kumari solrume kumari kumaran chiranjeevi so kumari kumaran so you can also put kaumari podukala லேடிஸ் எல்லாம் நான் சொல்லலாம் என்ன சார் எங்களை ரெஃபரன்ஸ் பண்ணவே இல்லையே கௌமாரம் சொல்லிட்டாலே என்ன ஆத்மா வந்து புள்ளிங்க சப்தம் சோ அதனால வந்து எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் गोइंग ஆன் புள்ளிங்க சோ கௌமாரி ஆல்சோ குமாரி ஆல்சோ யூ கேன் டேக் என்ன என்ன குமாரி ஆர் கௌமாரம் தென் யௌவனம் என்ன நம்ம கனெக்டட் வித் ஆதி சங்கரா பிரஜ கோவிந்தம் பாலஸ்தாவ கிரீடா சக்தஹ தருண 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 தருணி யௌவனம் என்ன தருணஸ்தாவ தருணி சக்தஹ என்ன சொல்லவே வேண்டாம் youth la enna panna naan solla matanga enna nobody will say what they did in youth but they say it is the best period in my life okay so during youth i was also that at under one chain the body was small baby 2 kgs suddenly became 10 kgs 15 kgs 45 kgs 50 kgs 60 kgs going on and on but the i i evlo weight jee jaasti aaru how much is i increasing weight i was 1 gram at one one year 100 grams at na 100 years ah how much weight is it i i thought what is the result of change no it's very good vinod suman so undergoes change kaumaram boyhood yauvanam youth jara old age tatha so also it goes through what dehantara prapti hi dehantaram means what anyat deham dehantaram sanskrit another body prapti hi attainment so the solo not only is experiencing the connection with the physical body mind sense and intellect in this life this solo after no what this solo is doing internally is very selfish solo your jeevatma is very selfish the jeevatma will use this physical body as long as it is giving whatever the jeevatma wants once this physical body is useless it will throw and go and jump and acquire another fresh body to go and enjoy parunga ipdi irukku parunga system so the attainment of another body so just as the jeevatma tatvam which is within this body undergoes changes boyhood youth old age so also it goes through the attainment of another body that means what it surveys after death knowing this fully well dhiraha dhiraha here means a wise man dhiraha how where is the dhiraha in upanishad परांचि खानि वेतन स्वयं भूहु तस्मात् परं पश्यति न अंतरात्मन्न कश्चित् धीरः प्रत्यगात्मानमैक्षते आवृत्त चक्षुरम तत्त्वम् इच्छन् सो ओनली वेरी रेयरली सम पीपल टेक देयर माइंड इनवर्ड नॉट गोइंग आउटवर्ड व्हिच इज नेचुरल प्रोग्रेशन ऑफ द माइंड दिस कॉल्ड धीरः पर्सन ऑफ very very sound char dharma shastra pravruti intellect that goes inside wise man wise woman o jukonga na ella wise da inga you know all wise people they are not disturbed the changes that happen externally to the body or the mind or the sense organs or intellect or relationship that is everything alak niranjan they say trivedi ji in hindi right alak what is alak niranjan niranjan means what totally disconnected anjana means sticking niranjana means no sticking that thing will stick to the person who is clearly of understanding nature that i am this atman seemingly jeevatma delayed gnanam please understand delayed brahma gnanam it is jeevatma because karma kanda focus on making jeevatma better gnana kanda only makes you free from even jeevatma to go to paramatma which is inside you 
and so when you get the gnanam you totally disconnect from anything that is happening around your system you are getting just like the body comes and goes but the internal thing doesn't change bhagavan will give lot more examples to explain this even he's going to give an example of cloth later but please understand what is the take away for today i am nirvikaraha i am the changeless entity that is inside so called inside the body it is also outside it is everywhere so i am the changeless entity i have nothing to do with the external body sense organ mind intellect any changes that affect these or anything that comes and seemingly affected is not going to affect me is it easy or difficult knowing is easy practicing is difficult correct no na am i am i right ah so at least first know then you start practicing there is the path to atma gyanam it is called atma vicharam and atma vicharam can come only by vedanta vicharam i will stop here om shanti 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 two announcement going to make one is please we please wait for two minutes don't run away one is uh, today sankashta har chaturthi that is uh, ganesha no sorry that right to get rid of all the sankatam all the worries in the world for the future generation we are thought of with ganesha's inspiration one kind of approach to taking bhagavad gita to next generation to the youth gita for youth gita for youth means what gita for both yuvakas and yuvatis we want to train a set of people very serious about knowing bhagavad gita's applicability to youngsters especially in the age group of 10 to 30 10 to 40 and even other people in a very focused 12 hour session 12 to 14 hour sessions which will conduct separately who are is interested please sign up for that course this will happen the detailed study will happen select verses from gita will be taken to show the applicability of gita for the youth and i'm going to break gita on many 20 topics the first is these two for the youth that is yuvakas and yuvatis you please learn yourself become a gita coach so train the trainer program on bhagavad gita various aspects who are is interested please put your name your mobile number email id in the chat box i am not going to publicly put it in our in the you know in the internet or in our you know, google website or whatever it is we are announcing it because this is something you would attend personally you no know, live this will not the recording will not come into youtube or anywhere it's a train you know interactive training program which will make you a coach and then you can go into workshops and teach you're going to get a lot of forums to go and teach i'll get uh, forums for you to go and teach in various places worldwide both online or even physically you can teach because that's the only way you can spread gita by taking modules because people don't have time to study gita fully so we'll be doing that people interested please put your uh, name and you uh, know we have already started uh, one session just uh, introduction we started for gita for yuvatis we started it just about a uh, couple of days back so all are welcome you can be young or old you can be from uh, 10 15 years up to 70 80 years please participate it will give you gita knowledge focused on various aspects i'm going to bring out gita for yuvakas gita for yuvatis gita for stress management gita for success in life gita for emotional management so many aspects are there gita for yoga gita for jnana gita for dharma so many aspects bhagavan has told beautiful entire shastras is there it will be very nice to pick out very few shlokas focus understand the details of the meaning and then internalize go and spread bhagavan says spread the message of gita and on this sankashta chaturthi we want to make this pratigna and all of you hopefully will join please give your name please write in the message to be your name your mobile number your email id and then we will have volunteers contact my groups and it is very very quick 12 hour modules 12 to 14 hour modules maybe weekly one session in 12 weeks will be done and then after that you get a fair grasp and depth of gita to the extent that you can then go and teach and as we get more people enabled we cannot spread gita to more people this is the idea and i want to take two minutes and hand over to our kalamal man make a small presentation talaji please come because we need some volunteers for making these wonderful notes today see please come go ahead hari om namaskaram guru ji namaste mm. to all we require volunteers to create illustrations for our concept notes where we self explain the concepts in gita 22 notes so for that purpose i want to show you a, i want to share a presentation yeah please go ahead are you co-hosted yeah very good please go ahead yeah put it in new mode ah huh? it's okay ah very yes, excellent yes. go ahead 
No. So in this, uh, go to the first slide. What is the first yeah. slide? Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, an example. Ah, this is, ah, very good. Okay, okay, right. Ah. So, uh, uh, so we, here you need to. Uh, One minute, Guruji. We are looking for people to create illustrations for our Brahma Vidya Gita yeah. 20 so, program. Hmm. Anyone who knows to create block diagrams and use um, uncopyrighted pictures from the net and uh, to modify and illustrate uh, uh, along with the concept as a part of notes. So the basic thing is that they must have a laptop or a PC. This cannot be done through mobile, and they should be familiar with PPT, PowerPoint. they should be able to convert it into jpeg use google sheets uh, that is their option then um, there, there is no particular age group anyone who is interested can contribute if there are youngsters who have got more creative skills they are most welcome and because particularly in us you have these uh, volunteer hours being given um, through our brahma vidya foundation we can give them volunteer hours which they can uh, show it in their uh, uh, resume also Car or to, uh, they can show it physical correct yeah. correct correct very yeah very okay and then the the main thing is that they should be able uh, to turn it around in a weeks or a 10 days time and uh, such interested people can put their names in the chat box the name contact number and email so for you to know what i am talking about the illustrations you would have seen these uh, uh illustrations for in the chapter 1 you would have seen in a, a picture of samsara varnanam veeram man is hanging around the tree oblivious of the danger around but still he is tasting the honey so uh, this uh, this went on to show the samsara varnanam what we are going through in our present day life we are looking for small pl pleasures ignoring the uh, the Higher biggest growth. Uh, mm, growth. Ple pleasure yeah. which we can get and uh, the permanent bliss we can get and in this uh, second chapter we have uh, put a simple block diagram to show how uh, this uh, kama leads to karma then raga dvesha then shoka moha vidya and all this becomes a vicious cycle so it can be something like a block diagram also the concept will be given the what you see on the bullet uh, as a bullet points this will be given only the picture has to be done for this you can take pictures you can creatively make it right? it need not be a particular style but it can be like a block diagram like this it can be something like this some part of the text written and some part shown as a picture which we try to show for karma yoga right action right attitude they should be balanced like that and um, this you might not have seen still this has yet to be released in chapter 3 where we have where we have put only pictures connecting to each other to show the cosmic inter interdependence where the entire creation in the cosmos are interdependent that we wanted to show so we had shown it in a picture like this so it can be like any of these types uh what we want is we want um, uh, yeah, i can move the okay great yeah how you can you can reiterate this uh, slide okay so people interested all youngsters people or see it all keeps you connected to bhagavad gita like kala ji saying no how to connect to gita go to concepts merely studying shloka is one good step but beyond that there are concepts there are theories there are details there is meaning this depth which you will get by doing all these exercises and gets you internalize gita much better anything you want to add kala madam nothing else guru very good excellent job see we got a 25 member team writing notes and uh, these people who are going to come are going to augment it and make wonderful diagrams and this is a very nice way very modern way new way of you no know, explaining gita to the world and once you structure it and make concept people understand gita much better so you'll be part of a great journey to take gita to the world and bhagwan says finally in the gita whoever spends effort teaching this gita shastra is the dearest to me so nothing is more you know auspicious and mangalakaram and worthy in life than taking in whatever form and fashion even small things you do is good enough so all of you are welcome to participate in this wonderful journey hari hari om okay thank you also don't forget the two programs uh, the youth and uh, youth is that particular program you will have that also everything will be done systematically hari om okay uh, ram uh, any questions today or we are going to end the day we are going to end the day guruji oh we're going to end the day okay fine so with this we will call it day and you can come back to normal focus om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate 
ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸ ಹೂರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಚಾಟ್ ಓಪನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಎನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಫರ್ಗಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಫರ್ಗಾಟನ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಡ್ ಫೈನ್ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಶುಭಮಸ್ತು ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸನ್ ಮಂಗಳಾನಿ ಭೋಂಸತ್ಯ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಹೂರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟೂ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಗೀತಾ ಕೋಚ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಓಂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೋ ಲೋ ಕೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋ ಇಲಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ದಟ್ ಟೀಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಗಾಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಹೋಪ್ಫುಲಿ ಯು ಬಿ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಗೀತಾ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲಿ ಅಂಡ